All right, so I'll be doing a one year kind of overview review of my BMW X1 X-Drive 35i M Sport. Mine is a 2015 model. They come with the N55. I'll put the engine code there if you want to know that. So basically what it is, the X1 is the smallest SUV that BMW makes. This is the first generation X1 being the code E84. It's based on the E90 E9X 3 Series and it shares similar motors with that car. Daily driving wise, the car has been pretty good. It's a pretty practical car. It's off the ground, uh, has a decent ground clearance. It does ride a little rough um, because of the M Sport suspension, if you do get the M Sport package. The seats are pretty comfortable, um, all leather seats. They do have adjustable bolsters and of course your lumbar support. They're heated as well. The Interior is basically, if you look at the inside of an E90, this will be what the X1 looks like. In the X1, you do get a panoramic sunroof. So daily driving wise, it's not bad. Um, with my driving, I get around 20 miles per gallon average, uh, 16 city sport driving, and then you can get well above 20, I believe. 25 was the best I've seen highway. Tunability of this car has been pretty good. Basically anything you could do with a 335 XI, you could do with this car. X Delete does not work for this. I've tried and I don't think it supports it. I am running MHD stage two plus full bolt on of course. And then I have a stage two trans tune from XHP. The car can get as quick as you'd say a 335 XI E90 could be. And it could get pretty close, but the X1 does weigh 3890, I believe, curb weight. So you are a little bit heavier than your average three series. Moving on to practicality, the car is a four door wagon or SUV or crossover. It's a hatchback, so you do get a little bit more space than you would in the normal E90 trunk. It seats five relatively comfortably. The headroom is not the best, but because of the panoramic sunroof, the roof does go up a little bit more. Legroom is kind of where it starts to have issues because the X1 is not much longer than the E90. It's just taller and raised a little bit. So the legroom that you get in the E93 series sedan, if you don't have much legroom in that car, you won't have much more in this car. Other than that, rides relatively good, being a little bit rough, like I said, with the M Sport suspension. Gas mileage isn't terrible, but it's not the best. It's kind of like a mix of like a sporty car and then like a kind of a family wagon. If you wanted like a 335, but you wanted a little more practicality, a little more ground clearance, uh, you wanted that hatchback, but you also still want the N55 motor and like the sportiness to it. In the US, we don't get uh, 335 wagons. So this is kind of, actually this is a very good almost direct substitute to that. Moving to maintenance. So since my ownership of the car, I've course change the oil I have got a new set of tires it doesn't burn through them because it's all-wheel drive but the ones when that were on the car when I got it were pretty worn down as they were I would say if your car does have run flats I would just ditch those all together once you damage a run flat you can't repair it with that said though I would try to go for a slightly larger sidewall tire because these tires I have blown through two or three of them on potholes because the sidewall is so narrow and also with the stock 225 M wheels, I believe, they do bend and crack pretty easily if you hit a pothole hard enough or the wrong way. So just keep an eye out for that. I did get a new set of wheels. Um, the ones that I have on there now are not stock um, because my stock wheels are actually bent and I believe they might be cracked in one spot because of potholes and rough roads and stuff we have here in this area. I have replaced the water pump and thermostat since I bought the car. My water pump did start going out and leaking a little bit. So I got that replaced with an all metal one, kind of prevent that from happening again in the future. I did get the thermostat replaced as well because I figured if you're gonna replace one, they're right there with each other. Just replace both of them, preventative maintenance. Other than that, I flushed the coolant. Trans fluid is next on my list oil changes regularly and that's about it. I haven't had many other issues with the car. Going to my overall rating, I would say this car is a, I'd, I'd give it a seven out of 10 because it is pretty sporty. It is pretty practical. I think it's a pretty good looking car. Um, the motor once tuned and stuff can be pretty 
pretty quick. I believe the N55 is one of the better sounding BMW motors that they've made. Also some downsides being that the legroom is kind of small, which you can expect from the smallest SUV of the lineup. The gas mileage, not the best. It being in based on an older platform it's a 2015 but it doesn't have a lot of the newer features that the newer bmws have you don't have line, lane keep assist you don't have any blind spot monitoring or um any front collision warning or anything like that or automatic high beams so basically everything you get in the e90 maxed out is what you can get in the x1 maxed out so yeah that's basically my one year ownership of the bmw x1 x drive 35i m sport and yeah.